Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Normally I say happy Monday, but today is not Monday. It's Tuesday, so we'll roll with it. It's Tuesday, and we are excited to read another winter story with you. It's feeling a little bit cold today, but no snow. Wah, wah. So let's read a snow book and see if we can bring some snow our way. This story is called The Little Snowflake. It was a cold winter's day. Up in the sky, the little snowflake was inside a very big gray cloud. <gasps> what did the sky look like today? It was kind of blue. It wasn't really gray. So maybe it's not a snow kind of day. That's okay. There he is, up there in the cloud. There's the big cloud. When I reach the ground, he said, I want to be a part of the biggest and best snowman in the world. The little snowflake looked down. It's a long way to go, but I'm brave, said the little snowflake as he jumped. Falling and tumbling through the sky, there he is. The little snowflake saw many other snowflakes whirling and twirling. Some had simple patterns and some had fancy designs, but all of them had six sides. What a beautiful sight, he thought. On the way down, the little snowflake bounced off another snowflake. Move over, buddy, the other snowflake shouted. Watch where you're going. I'm sorry, the little snowflake said. I didn't mean to bump into you. The little snowflake kept falling and falling. Suddenly, he landed on something with feathers. Hmm, what was the thing he landed on that had feathers? Bird. Oh, bird, yeah. Look at him there on the back of the bird. Looks like a goose to me. A little bit different color. This can't be the ground, the little snowflake thought. It's too soft. Looking down, he yelled, It's a goose! What's going to happen to me now? The goose was flying with lots of other geese. They flew in the shape of a giant V. First, the geese veered left, then right, and suddenly they began to flap their wings to go very fast. Oops, the little snowflake fell off the goose. Here I go again, he said, falling and falling, down, down, down. I hope I land in that big meadow over there, the little snowflake said. It will be the perfect spot for children to build a snowman with me in it. Falling and falling down, 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 closer and closer to the ground. Here I come, the little snowflake yelled. Finally, the little snowflake did land in the big meadow, but not on the ground. Oh no, said the little snowflake. I've landed on a big stone. What will happen next? Do you think they'll find him to be in the snowman? No. I don't know. If he's on a big rock, I don't know if they will. The little snowflake watched as some children began to gather nearby. Let's build a snowman, Anna said. That's a great idea, Jacob added. Yes, said the little snowflake, a really great idea. He really wants to be a snowman. Anna made a snowball and began to roll it across the snow. The snowball grew bigger and bigger. This snowball's getting too big for me to push by myself, Anna said. I'll help you, Greg said. Good job, kids, the little snowflake called out. Don't forget about me. But the children did not hear or see the little snowflake. The snowball grew so big that Julia and Jacob needed to help roll it. The children pushed the big snowball toward the little snowflake. Oh boy, the little snowflake said, now they'll roll that big snowball over here and pick me up. Then my wish will come true. But before they reached the little snowflake, Anna shouted, stop! What's going on? asked Jacob. Look, there's a stone, Anna replied. Our snowball might break apart if we roll it over there. Okay, Greg said, we'll stop here. 
Now let's make the middle part. Oh no. I don't think he's going to be in the snowman. I'm still here, the little snowflake cried out. Then he sang this song. Look at me, look at me, I'm down here on this stone. Please put me in your snowman, don't leave me all alone. Poor little snowman. Or snow, not snowman, snowflake. But nobody heard the little snowflake song. <laughs> the little snowflake sadly looked on as Julia, Jacob, and Greg rolled the snowman's middle while Anna rolled the smaller snowball for the head. Do you think the animals notice the snowflake? I think so. After they stacked the snowballs, Greg said, it looks really good. No, it doesn't, the little snowflake said to himself. It doesn't look good at all. But our snowman's not finished, Anna said. It needs two eyes, a nose, and a mouth. And me, the little snowflake shouted. Let's use two rocks for the eyes, Julia said. And these little rocks for the mouth, added Jacob. Here's a carrot stick for the nose, said Greg. I had an extra one in my lunch bag. Now it's really done, Anna added. All the children stood back to take a good look at their snowman. It still doesn't look right, Julia said. It's missing something. She looked down and noticed the little snowflake on the big stone. Look at this. It's a snowflake, said Anna, and he's all by himself. The little snowflake began to smile. He couldn't believe the children were looking at him. He might get lucky after all. Let's use him for our snowman, Greg said. But where, Jacob asked. I know, Julia said, carefully picking up the little snowflake. As she placed him on one of the rocks, she said, he'll be the twinkle in our snowman's eye. The little snowflake smiled his biggest smile. How cute. He looks much smaller now that he's on the snowman than he did a little bit ago, didn't he? Yeah. The children stood back to take another look at their snowman. Now it's the best snowman in the whole world, Anna said. The other children agreed, and so did the little snowflake. The end. That was a pretty cute snowman story. I sure hope that we'll get some snow soon so that we can build our very own snowmen. I hope you liked the book and we'll see you next time.